The EPA and NAS reports are just part of the growing body of evidence that is coming to the attention of the policymakers in Washington. Tennessee Congressman Albert Gore heads a science and technology subcommittee that has held several hearings on the possible consequences of the greenhouse effect. I don't know if, if our civilization has ever confronted a problem quite like this one. This problem has reached a new stage in its development. A scientific consensus has emerged, and now the debate is over how long before the first effects will actually be felt. As a result, it is moving from the scientific realm into the political realm. How are the policymakers going to react to this challenge? The challenge is whether or not our elected officials can solve a problem like this, a problem you can't see that crosses international boundaries and demands long-range planning. The biggest problem that uh, anyone in the Congress has in addressing a problem this big is that it seems so remote from our everyday experience that it doesn't appear to justify uh, a visceral political response that, that uh, says, let's do something about it. It seems too remote. However, our industrial civilization has reached the stage now where we evidently can have global effects, and those effects can take place um, over a long period of time. And in order to stop them, you have to act early on. So we have to deal with a greater amount of uncertainty than we have in the past.